60 Cycle Hums coverage of Summer Nam 2019 is brought to you by Harmony Guitars, Huzak Music, Mojo Hand Effects, Boss, and Sinusoid Cables. Hey everyone, I'm Ryan. You're watching 60 Cycle Hum. I'm here at Summer Nam 2019 in the Fender booth, and I'm going to check out a Mustang from the Ventero line. Uh, I don't know how much these cost. You see on the wall? I can't tell from here. Uh, but anyways, everyone's been excited about this Ventero line. Uh, I've been Mustang curious for a while. I wish there was a wiggle stick on it, but there's not. Um, I'm just gonna have some fun with it, store it a bit, try to get some sounds that I like out of this guitar, and then talk about it. So here is a clean sound. Well, no, I'm on a light crunch setting. I'm, here is a light crunch sound from a Ventero Mustang on the neck position starting out. the bridge position. Face setting because I know that, that that is a Mustang thing. Yeah, there it is. Pretty cool. Let's do uh, both pickup song at the same time without the out of face. You know, it's interesting. Uh, it's really comfortable, friendly neck for me. Kind of a more vintage baseball bat kind of profile. Not super thick, but it definitely feels your hand in a kind of vintage sort of way. Uh, the frets are not modern frets. They're kind of a light, like fret wire here. Not at all jumbo or modern in any sort of way. Love the color on this thing. Love the look of it. I even like the, the moto on here. I'm not always a fan of Moto, but this has a bit of a cream vintage character to it instead of being that stark white, like really hard to look at Moto. I think it's, I think it's a winner as a Mustang. It's got those split top vintage shooters in there. You know I like those. But I'm, I'm honestly questioning whether or not I'm a Mustang person. I've been curious about them. And I like a lot of the concept here. But I feel like I do want a higher output pickup. I do want a more modern friend. I like the shape of the neck. But I don't know. And I don't have the I can't try out the wiggle stick right now. I know they have made some improvements to recent versions of these. I don't know if this is one of the improved uh, Mustang tremolos on this one. I don't see the nylon insert here, which accompanies those, so it might not be. It's hard for me to say. Mustang lovers out there, do you think that these are cool? I think it's cool, but I, I just don't think it's really fully me. I think if I was going to have a Mustang concept in my quiver, I might have to do a parts build to build 
what I want in my mind, which would be a Mustang with a more of a uh, modern loadout. I just, I like my, uh, I like my Bullet Mustang. I like my Squire Bullet Mustang so much. I really just want that, but with the vintage hardware to do more of an authentic Mustang experience, but not as authentic as this. Is that weird? But anyways, the build quality on this looks fine. It's exactly what you'd expect from you know the higher end stuff coming out of the Mexico plant right now. The color is really stunning. The other colors they have on the wall here is stunning. Discuss it down below. Tell me, do you, do you think this is a cool guitar? I'm gonna play through some different sounds now. I'm gonna try some other stuff. All right, uh, let's do the surf setting. high gain sound now. fun it's just I don't know I don't think I'm on board with those super low output pickups I, I need a little bit more push than what this delivers it's a cool looking guitar though all right thanks for watching please like subscribe dislike leave me your nasty comments uh, support us on patreon blah 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 click the links for our sponsors they made so much of this possible uh, our patreons made this possible as well so check out our link for our patreon all right bye everybody stay grounded